guys, welcome to Hurting Little Cows to the Glory of God. You may hear a little commotion because kids are putting on shoes because we're headed out the door to go to the chiropractor, but that means we're returning some books to the library today. And I wanted to tell you our favorites this week. I didn't get very many books last week because we just had a short time to get books. So we don't have as many to take back today, but these are the ones I want to tell you about. So first book is Courage Like Kate. Um, it's a true story about a girl who kept a lighthouse in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Her dad was the official lighthouse keeper, but she did the work and um, she had to actually, sorry, <laughs> I'm putting the book in the wrong place. She had to actually um, take over his job and then she became the first official lighthouse keeper of that island. Um, but she actually saved people and stuff. Do we have a baby? A baby so, person. Hi, baby person. Okay, the baby for a video. No, you gotta put your shoes on somewhere else. I'm talking about books. Go. Someone else will help you. Here. Oh. Shoe. Okay. Ugh. Okay, next board, next book. What do you have for your face? Oh, yuck on the face. You good. You got, got it. it. Okay, so this book, All Aboard, Elijah McCoy's Steam Engine. I actually, these books I all just kind of picked off the shelf. I didn't mean to get any of these ones. This book is about a guy, Elijah McCoy. His parents were slaves. Um, and so this was 18. 60 something 1860s and he went to get a job after going off to school to be an engineer and they were like okay you can be I forget what they called him but he had to stock the fire in the train um it wasn't the job of an engineer but because he was a black person that was the job they gave him but he ended up making a oil drip can for the front of the engine so that the engines didn't have to get stopped all the time to get oil and I didn't know this but the term the real McCoy wanting the real thing was actually because of this guy they when they wanted the real the one that would actually work best because others were made after him they would ask for the real McCoy one because he actually made the best drip engine oil can thing I didn't know that cool another real life book sisters of Skishuit light two sisters they belong to the lighthouse keeper um is their father. The father goes with the rest of the family on a trip, leaves these two home. And this is the War of 1812. The British try to attack their island and these two girls save the day. Another real story. Okay, I think that's, that's it for real stories. Okay, this book we just enjoyed the pictures. Um, color, color, where are you color? But each page, so this is all about the color blue and it asks if you can find different animals and things on the page that begin with that color. So it's just a neat book for toddlers. Blue Jay. Blue Jay, yes, and the kitty's eyes. <clears throat> okay, this was Malachi's favorite book, The Little Snow Plow. So there's this town. The snow plow is a little alive snow plow yeah, that can Mighty talk. Mighty Mountain was the town. Mighty Mountain was the town. And they had all the big and snow plows. Uh huh. One page is good. <laughs> okay, one page is good. So there's a bunch of big snow plows, and they don't think that he can what? do the job. Red, black, red, black. Do you like this book? So they don't, no. they don't think the little snowplow can do the job, but then a big snowplow gets stuck and the little snowplow is the only one who can get to him and he saves the day, right? Good little snowplow. Oh, I didn't tell you any of the names of these authors. Hold on real quick. The first one I did, or maybe I didn't. Okay, Courage by Kate, Anna Crawley Redding and Emily Sutton. All aboard. Monica Cullen, Sisters of Skituit Light. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. You can correct me in the comments. Stephen Krinsky, or any of these authors, I'm probably saying them wrong. Little Snowplow, Laura Kohler. Mm -hmm. And Color Color, Where Are You Color? Mary Kosky. Okay, last two books. I actually did not read this one, but other people read I it and said it was good. It's called I Pond did. by Jim LaMarche. I just ran out of time to read it. Sorry, I'm putting it. And I did not read it. Okay. I've read it lots of times. So. But it's what's it about, little boy and girl? It's about a little boy, his, his friend, and his sister. And they dam up this stream, and it becomes a pond. And they find a blue rock that is shaped like a heart. And then they, and then it talks about all the different seasons. And then at the end, they find out that. I think there was actually a pond there before. I'm not sure about that because the pond is a heart, the shape of the stone. That's cool. So it was. it's just a cute that talks about what happens in nature during the different seasons. So if you are like a nature study person, like to be out in nature with your kids. Okay, and last book, Saturdays and Tea Cakes. This was my favorite. 
Um, story by Lester L. Laminac. The pictures are really neat because they actually kind of look like photographs, even though they're actually like painted pictures. I'm just gonna show a picture. But the story is about a little boy lives a long time ago, maybe like the 30s or 40s. I don't, I don't know exactly. Find the kitchen page that has all the old stuff. So anyway, the um, book is about this little boy. There you go. Ooh. 50s, maybe? Is that 50s? Yeah, I'm thinking 50s. 50s, okay. Little boy goes to visit his grandmother every Saturday. It talks about his trip riding his bike up there. His grandma always had biscuits and tea cakes ready for him. And being in his grandma's house, there's lots of names of like certain products that were used at the time. I forget, but the, like the blue name bonnet. Blue Bonnet and go get the Blue Bonnet out of the fridge and stuff like that. It's just a neat old book um, about the importance of the relationship with grandparents. So we really like that book. So anyway, we're headed off to the chiropractor and the library and we'll get some new books. These were all ones that we've actually had for a couple weeks, but I got a notification today that they're due in a couple days. These were the ones that when we took back books back last week, I didn't have time to do a video. And so I kept all these ones because I want to tell you guys about them. So Anyway, there we go. We'll see you guys next time on Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. bye. He's not saying bye. You say bye? Bye. 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 Can I have sex for the baby and shoes for the baby? Cool.